What's up guys, it's Lily with Ammo.com and today's video is gonna to be top five pistol shooting drills. And for this video, I have my husband out here with me today. So I'll let him introduce himself and then we'll get started. Hey guys, my name is Gary. I've retired from 22 years of service, 18 years of those in Special Forces of the Green Beret. Happy to be here. <laughs> All right, so I'll have him demoing the drills today, walking you guys through them and uh, we'll get started. Right, guys today we're going to be talking about a slide like reload now what is a slide like reload when your weapon is fired the final round out of your magazine so you want to immediately go and put another magazine into the weapon system so you can get back on target from position three now you can see i'm at slide lock step one is i'm going to index my magazine release button while the weapon is still perpendicular to the ground, allowing gravity to do the work for me. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this gun into what we call our workspace. So I can see what I'm engaging is gonna be clear and my gun is gonna be blurred. So the next thing I'm gonna do is go for my new magazine. Now, this is very important. You always wanna load your magazines in your magazine carrier the same way with your bullets facing towards your belly button. This works for a right or a left-handed shooter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to put my palm over the base pad of the magazine, my index finger pointed down towards where the bullets are, and I'm gonna do a quick ocular shift to the gun, insert the magazine, ride the slide back forward. Before we move on, I'm gonna show you how to run this drill in real time. Here we go. All right, guys, the next drill I'm gonna talk about is an immediate action drill. Now, what that is is when your gun malfunctions, we're gonna go with the slap rack ready method. Now, I'm gonna walk you through that. In a stressful situation, you're not gonna see that. So that's why we call this an immediate action drill. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll the weapon with the ejection port facing the ground. The next thing I'm gonna do is slap the magazine, rack the slide to the rear, ejecting the stovepipe round, and watching the new round insert and getting back on target. Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you this drill in real time. All right, so this next drill is gonna be a five round string. So what we're going to do is test our grip. So the first thing we need to know is how to have a proper grip. For the sake of this video, we're gonna do it right-handed since most people are right-handed, but the same principles apply if you're left-handed as well. So for starters, you're gonna take your right hand, okay? You're gonna hold it as high up on the back strap as you can. You don't wanna leave a space. If you leave a space, when that recoil takes place, the gun's gonna bounce around. One, you're not gonna be accurate. Two, it can cause discomfort and bruising. So hold as high up as you can on the back strap, index your trigger finger, wrap your three around the handle. For the left side, you're gonna take your left hand, take your palm, marry it up to your right hand, lay your thumbs together. A little tip of what you don't want to do is you don't want to cross your thumb. Some people do that because they feel it's more comfortable, but the problem is then you lose all that support from the meat of your hand, okay? So one of the main things people ask is how tight should they hold the firearm? So when you're shooting, you don't want to death grip it. If you can see the grip of your firearm in your hand, you're holding it too tight. You also don't want to hold it too loose and kind of limp noodle it. The gun's going to bounce around. You're not going to be accurate. You want to hold it like a firm handshake. You do want more pressure and more strength coming out of your support hand, not so much in the hand that's actually doing the firing and pulling the trigger. <laughs> so I'm going to have Gary demonstrate this drill for you guys. So let's go do that. So for this next drill we're going to be doing, it's going to be a holster draw. Now, one thing I did want to mention is that not a lot of ranges allow you to practice this drill. So before you start doing it, make sure you're allowed to and that you're not doing something against the rules and get yourself banned. So the first thing you want to do when drawing from the holster is ensure you get a deep grip on this back strap and or dovetail. Now that's going to build your grip while coming out of the holster. Now that I have my hand deep into this dovetail or back strap, 
I'm gonna draw the weapon from the holster, rotating it at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna take my left hand, I place it on my chest for two reasons. The first reason is, if I have to take shots from this position, I can do so safely without my hand flagging the gun. The second reason is, is as I'm going to full presentation, it allows me to marry my hand up to get a proper grip and push to full presentation until I can break my shots. And now I'm gonna demonstrate this drill in real time. All right, so for this last drill, we decided to take things inside because you'll see in a moment how that applies. Now with dry firing, so it's awesome to go to the range, but it's not always practical with our schedules or weather conditions. So we do need alternatives when it comes to still maintaining our training and progressing further. So dry fire is a great way to do that. It is something you can do from home. There are so many drills that you can practice in order to build on your fundamentals that you're practicing on the live fire range. So today we're going to show you one of the drills that you can practice at home. So a lot of dry fire exercises can be a lot of fun. You can hang targets around your house, practice, you know, clearing hallways or corners or, you know, moving and shooting. But some of the exercises can be a little bit tedious and boring, but they have a purpose. So today's exercise that we're going to show you is going to be for the goal of helping individuals who have issues with their trigger pull. This is not a trigger reset drill. This is not an anticipation drill. This is strictly for trigger pull. So sometimes people don't know that they need to go ahead and pull up the slack, get to the wall and break that wall. It needs to be a smooth transition. Sometimes people slap the trigger. This can cause your firearm to slightly deviate from left to right or up and down, which ultimately is going to impact your accuracy. So I'm gonna have Gary demonstrate it and I will walk you through it. So step one is gonna be setting up a target so that we have something to aim at. Next, you want to make sure your firearm is racked. That way, when you do pull the trigger, you do hear that audible click. From there, you're going to take a penny, place it on the front sight, and go ahead and bring the firearm to full presentation. Now, the goal is to pull that trigger without that penny or that coin falling off. All right, and that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification icon to be notified when we upload our next video. And don't forget to sign up for ammo.com's emails. We will be putting together a PDF with step-by-step -step photos of all of these drills and instructions. So you can follow along if you want to practice these drills on your own. Shoot straight. <laughs>